Yeah. It's your boy. Rick flaring and sickening, revolting, insulting. It's your boy, Zach Zyler. And today, I'm going to talk with you guys. Talk over a little lifting vlog here. A shit chest session, if I've ever heard of such a thing. Um, but you know what? I don't care. I have a few failures in this chest workout, and I'm not as strong as what I normally could be. And just to let you guys know, I have, since this workout, hit my programming of this set right here, I believe was, what is this, 280? 285? I don't know, but I failed, and I had to bruise the shit out of my thighs, dropping that weight on myself. But that's what I get for not using a spotter. But going from there, a bunch of kids are yelling outside, damn. Um, from there, you guys, I wanted to talk about my cut, because it has began. Judging by the title of this video, judging by what I'm saying now, the cut has began, and I'm very excited, and I'm very, I don't know, very interested to see where it takes me, because I've taken those first few steps into entering my two-month cut before my wedding and before my honeymoon, which is literally two months away. It's crazy to think about. It may even be less than two months at this point in time, but that's something that I put and instilled in myself as an ambition and goal that I've had is to be a shredded sick Kent for my honeymoon. And there's no really, there's no real reason to that other than the fact that it's creating a goal in my head that I can work towards instead of just saying, hey, I want to cut and give myself six months to do so. I have a bit of a deadline and I want to be very shredded with detail and I'm not really I'm not really sure yet but I think I'd like to be the leanest that I've ever been so I'm talking veins everywhere striations in the shoulders traps even all over the place so that's something that I'm aiming for and to go into that um, and talk to you guys about actual changes that are being made in my training in my diet and whatnot starting off and I've only been cutting cutting in quotations I've only been cutting for like two or three days, okay? And nothing has changed in terms of my training. Um, I'm still training the same way that I always have. Higher volume, intense workouts, great amounts of intensity, shorter rest periods. And my nutrition has not changed either. Now hear me out on this because I want to enter this slowly. I want to enter this with a smart head on my shoulders. And I don't want to drastically just go cold turkey and stop completely throwing out shit foods and everything like that and just going into that mustard and chicken type dieting. No. I want to give my body time to adapt. And the only change that I've made in my training and everything else and my approach to the gym is the fact that I've implemented cardio. And holy shit, like if I sit down and really try to analyze this, I cannot remember... A time where I consecutively hit cardio sessions ever in my life I cannot think of a time the only type of comparison I can make is back when I would train um, with our track team with my basketball team you name it like sports like that where we, we would consistently do sprinting drills and everything around those sorts of things so that's the last time that I can remember doing any form of cardio is going back to high school in a consistent manner, that is. Because there were times where I would hop on a treadmill um, and just do a little sprinting workout, a little bit of a hit, high-intensity interval training type of a session, just for the thrill of it, just for the athleticism, and to keep my heart engaged. And in the current state with my training that I do, keeping my rest periods so short, keeping my um, periods between exercise to exercise relatively like short, I guess, um, I definitely feel as though my heart is getting trained in a decent degree. I mean, it's not completely isolating cardiovascular activity, but I definitely get a rush and I definitely get my heart pumping on some of the sets of squats, deadlifts, and types of exercises like that when I'm in that gym. That is for damn sure. But it's interesting because I've been doing 10 minutes on the stair climber, and that's been my cardio, just 10 minutes a day. And it's been kind of interesting getting used to standing on a stair climber, on a piece of cardio equipment, because usually when I walk in the gym, I walk right past all of those bikes, all of those treadmills, not even batting an eye towards them. So 
it's just weird being on that side of the gym in general. I feel like I went to the dark side in a way. But you guys, that's something I wanted to share with you in this video. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have better footage, more exciting footage of a workout, but you know how it is. It's a chest session. So I have a couple of videos I'm filming this week. One with my nephew, hopefully, if he lets me film with him. And then one on Thursday, I have no idea. I'm going to figure it out. So I'm going to try to post a few more videos this week. I know things have been slacking in terms of actual uploads. Like it's, I've had like weeks in some cases where I've been slacking in between uploads. But I have a lot of footage built up to the point where my Mac is completely full. My memory is like, I've got only a few megabytes left of memory right now. And I'm nervous I won't be able to upload this video. So I'll probably go back and delete some footage that I know I won't end up using. So that's the end of this session, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please give me some more feedback in the comments. I always appreciate your guys' feedback as to how I can make this channel better, how we can grow as a family. And this is Zach Zyler. Until next time, I love you all so much. Peace out. Bye.